the mothers will do any type of jobs to take care of their children. Oh yes. And now you'll see that they don't have an education, but they make sure their sons and daughters are doctors or lawyers. I truly feel like this type, of, these type of moms, I don't think they're much around anymore. <laughs> Hey, beautiful friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode, y'all. I am your girl, your host, Cece, and I'm joined by the one and only hubby. Hey, babe, how you doing? Happy Mother's Day. Well, thank you, sir. See, I'm off the hook. You- I say happy Mother's Day and I'm done. <laughs> You're not off the hook, so <laughs> don't try it. Everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Blissology Podcast. This one is a special one. I know all of our episodes are special, but this one is special yes. because we we have dedicated it to all the mothers out there, especially those in our lives, and especially this one, the mother of my children. Well, thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you, babe. Now, in this podcast, we normally talk about love, life, family, relationships, but today, y'all... It's all about Mother's Day. Oh, uh, mothers in general. Mothers, mothers in the whole entire world. Yes. And as always, before we get into the topic of the day, which is again Mother's Day, <laughs> we want to talk about something blissful that may have happened to us or maybe something that we did. Okay. So what's your blissful moment? I don't know if it's a blissful moment. Mm-hmm. You know how last week we had a blissful moment that wasn't really a blissful moment? I feel like the party that we went to last weekend. I oh, the, the Saturday like, party. Yeah. Like, I want to talk about this. Why? Um, I think I'm I think I'm going to retire from going to these type of parties going forward. Okay. I think I am. I feel like. Going to these parties nowadays where we just, you know, we dress up, which is nice. We look good. But I truly feel like I'm retiring from these type of parties for real. Because I don't think the crowd or the music, like, get me going anymore. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me be honest. Let me say this. See, I'm the type. I go to parties. If there's music, I want to dance. I don't care who else dance. I go for me. Okay. Sis is the other type. If there's no one dancing. I'm not putting up a show. She will not go dance. I won't. So she's disappointed in the party last weekend. I very was. There weren't really people dancing and she didn't get to dance. And I was looking fly. Me, I'm disappointed <laughs> because she didn't dance because I didn't care. Who got on the dance floor? Whose fault is this? I wanted to dance. The DJ didn't have that much selection. There was some good music playing. Baby. It's just that, you know, listen, let me say this. Our people don't normally dance if the light is on. And if it, it's bright in the room, it's not dim. People just don't. I don't I don't know. What, I don't know what the problem is. It doesn't matter if it's lit like the dark. or dark. <laughs> I think if someone wants to dance, you should just go dance. But it's that's been the problem with our people. It has to be dark. Now, I understand. Me, I don't care if it's dark or light. If I'm going to do a couple of things on the dance floor, I'm going to do it. But if I go by myself, then what's the point? My woman's sitting there. And if I go by myself and enjoy myself, I'm probably going to hear about it. Okay, went to a party. You went and have a good time. I didn't have a good time. So You wouldn't hear about it from me, though. Uh, you wouldn't hear about it, but I'm just saying. So she wants to retire from those parties. And listen. A party is a party. It's just a DJ and some music. We don't do a lot of live band, but if it's a live band, it's just some people on stage performing. Performing. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, a party is a party. Yes, some DJs are more lively than others, and others are not. And some crowds are more lively than others. Now, this was a little bit of an older crowd, though. You got to say. No, there were some younger people there. But it was primarily older folks. I mean, here's the thing. I truly feel like the dance floor was pretty big. 
it was like a ballroom where, you know, you got to fill up the dance floor with a lot of people. And typically when the ballroom, when the dance floor is pretty big, even if there's like 10 people in the dance floor, it feels empty because it's a huge room. Like the room holds about what? Two or 300 people. Yes. So therefore, yes. In some of the songs, again, they were like, oh, I've listened to this before. Oh, I've heard it already last weekend. Of course, there was no brand new songs. You know, Listen, and we this play is why old I'm, songs all and, the time at parties. And I'm okay with, I'm okay if I stay home from I'm now not on. retiring from parties, but if she's not going, <laughs> I can't go. So I'm kind of like, And I'm what not going to put a show. And I truly feel like there's parties that we've been to. There's parties that we've been to in the past where we, you know, the dance floor for a good 15, 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Right, and we like the only one on this floor, or one or two couple. More room joined. for me to, to no, do what baby. I do. I you didn't pay me <laughs> to put up a show. Now, now here's the thing: if you're gonna pay me, and, and you know we gonna stay on the dance floor until the next morning or until whenever. Here's my take on if party. you want me to be if you want me to perform right to party and be on the dance floor. Hey, I'll do it, but I'm not going to be in the dance floor with my husband where everybody will just sit down and staring and looking because I'm not putting a show because I didn't come. I, I, I didn't, listen, I didn't come here to put a show. And this is why I, I don't I'm see retiring it, from this I, party. I, I don't see it as putting a show. And I again, do because all eyes she, on you. OK, she, all eyes so on you. Peop, listen, what are those 200 people on the dance floor or one? I don't care who's looking at me. I'm just doing he my like thing. He likes putting up a show. My husband likes putting up show. When he's on the dance floor, he's like he's performing. He knows they're watching. So he's doing all these crazy moves so they can be looking at you. And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> okay? I'm like, I don't really care much about putting up a show. Yes, we can if dance. I go, if I go to a party and afterwards I feel like, man, I'm sweating. That tells me this I had parties where we've been to. This where, tell me I had a good time. So what are you trying to say for the party that went to last weekend? Man, I sat the whole time. I was standing like by the table, moving my, my body a little bit. But listen, but I got home. I was dancing. I didn't even have to take off my jacket. Normally when we go to a party, it gets to a point. I have to take off the jacket. Yeah, you get so sweaty. I can't take it on, you know, because. I, didn't I was doing this the jacket. whole time on my chair, y'all. Like, this is me. What's the, the point? You had a party music is playing and that's when you're doing selfies? There was no... Well, I was dancing with my phone. <laughs> like, I was dancing with my phone because there was no... Like, there was no dance floor. And that's just There why. was a big dance floor. She just needed other people to be on there with well, her. Well, listen. It. If I... If we... If there's like a few couples on the dance floor, yes which we have done in the past where we go and dance and we enjoy ourselves. Yeah, but it's like I'm songs. penalizing myself for not dancing but because babe, other people don't want to dance. It makes no sense for just one person on the dance floor for like Who a says it doesn't make minutes. sense? I say that. <laughs> it doesn't make sense because I'm not putting up a show. This is you, why you, you I'm retiring from this type of parties going forward. So which party are we going to be going to? If one of those people are at the church... <laughs> I I, <laughs> I I I I don't know. I well, you know, we go we, into I, one I, this I, weekend, but we're working. I don't go to parties by myself, which means if I'm going, she's going. And if I'm not going, I you're will going. be in trouble if I go by myself because I can't dance with anybody but her. So I can't you go can't if she doesn't dance go. With anybody but your wife, <laughs> more like <laughs> which not means her. I can't go to a party if she's not there. Okay. Which means if she's retiring from parties, I have no choice but to retire from parties. But Matt, when I go to places. Babe, but you got to find those parties where, you know, we go and we dance off. Because him and I, we can dance. We I last know. on the dance floor. Like I know. That's why I'm disappointed. We last, don't get tired. Last week, there were like music. No, there was no music. There were we music. Don't, and, and I love the DJ. Listen, the, DJ, the DJ's a friend of ours. You know, he, The people were just... He couldn't find the lights to turn them off. I don't know, baby. I don't know I about that. Them. I don't know about that. But here's the thing. You know this type of party that I like. You're going to have to do your research and make sure that, hey, I don't want to retire from going to parties. So... I got to find a party to take my woman because... We're going to go old fast if we no, stop going to parties. No, here's the thing, though. There's, like, DJs. There's, like, those um 
groups are having those bands, right? Actually, on June 16th, the 14th. No, like I love me some T Vice. I love me some of these great um, artists that can put a good music, a good mix. Mm hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what it went to in January. It was nice. January, we I don't sweat. recall. We sweat. We had a good time. The DJ was like killing it. Yeah, the January band. was so long ago. See, the maybe band. maybe then when we're going to Saturday, we could. Um... We're working. <laughs> we're not going to be dancing. We're working. So, you yes, can dance while that's working. That's how I feel like, you know, I. And of course, there were some people on the dance floor, but they were just dancing. And I don't want to be like, you know, do the same thing over and over again. Like, I'm not going to get on the floor and be like, nah, I'm retiring from this type of party. If you ask me to come to a party, if I go, it's just going to be me go and sit down and eat my foot and come home. I can stay home and watch some TV or something. Yeah. But hey, listen. We could have stayed home last Saturday because we were so tired from the showings in the morning. We didn't get home until like 4.30 on that Saturday. And mm -hmm. then we and then we had to get ready by like 6 30, 7 o'clock to go to um to the party. So yes. I could have I'm stayed retiring home. from parties, okay? From these from these type of parties. Let me be specific. These type of parties. Anyway, that's her complaint about the party. I didn't have hey, listen, it was a nice place. It was a I, nice party, uh, though. You know, it was it was we were celebrating someone's 25th wedding anniversary, which was a milestone. I think I've uh, been married for 25 years, and obviously they're gonna push for 50 and plus years. And they look so youthful. We wish them we wish them well. They look so young. A lot of people came out to support them. Listen, I had me some food and some drinks. I danced I on my too. chair. <laughs> <laughs> we danced on our chair. My mom was like, I, I didn't intend to, but I had no choice. I don't think my dad danced at all. Your dad hasn't been dancing at parties lately. Well, him and I were <laughs> <laughs> Well, there it goes. <laughs> Daddy and I were retiring from parties. Yeah, but it, it was it was good. And, you can and take my mom to parties, though. She'll dance with you. I know she would. Mm -hmm. Should have taken her. <laughs> your dad was looking so i had um i had to be careful anyway um but it was it, it was it was a good gathering i mean despite the fact that sis is complaining about not dancing which i think it's solely up to her she could have got up and i would have been more than willing to go and dance with her and enjoy the nah. party but she was like there's no one dancing being herself there's no one on the dance floor you're not gonna see me performing because so, i'm not that's um the dance floor. that was our weekend that's that's good i guess that's that's your unblissful moment that is my blissful moment yeah but now let's get into the topic of the day but i know mother's day is a special day for all of us yes but where did it come from yes so guys here's the thing while i was putting the you know the podcast together figure you know it's mother's day weekend let's mm -hmm. just dig a little bit to where see it where it came from so i did find out about this fun fact Mm -hmm. Or did you know mm -hmm. that you fact checked it? I sure, sure did. I even look up the ladies to see what she looked like. She was very pretty. Mm -hmm. She was very pretty. So I found out that there was this, there was this lady named Anna Maria jo something, something. Mm -hmm. Anna Maria Jarvis. She was the founder mm -hmm. of Mother's Day in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this whole thing with. Anna, she thought that, hey, mom deserved to have a special day, which was nice. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. I was like, oh, okay, lady. She was like, you know, mom deserved to have a special day. So she started this thing called Mother's Day. And mm -hmm. that was back in the early 1900s. It was a while that ago. It was a long time. And this whole thing was about, you know, showing love with, Sweet homemade card. You know how when you have like a nice handwritten cards, like a nice. I haven't got one of those. But okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I thought it was very interesting. I think there was somewhere in there that they mentioned where you know she'll grab a bunch of flowers and from her garden. Of course, you know people back in the nineteen hundreds they had gardens and all that. So she did all that, and I was like, oh my god, I never knew that. Now I need to find out about our culture. Because we celebrate Mother's Day, too. On a different day. On though. a different Sunday, mm -hmm. which is every fourth Sunday of May. So I need to do a research on that. Like, did because of 
Anna started this. That's why we have Mother's Day for. So, so before Anna was Mother's Day being celebrated no. somewhere in the world. No. Well, in know. the U.S., based on my research, and I don't know about other places in the world places. where they were. This, where they, but I thought it was were... very interesting that you know someone thought that hey, mom deserved to have a special day, and she started this in the 1900s. Okay, well. Thanks to her, a lot of stores are making a lot of money. <laughs> now, but I don't think things were like that back then. People Listen. were handwritten stuff on a piece of paper, bringing flowers to your neighbor next door. Hey, happy Mother's Day, just so you know I'm thinking of you. I know you've been working hard taking care of the children. Yeah. Because, you know, moms back then, they didn't work. They were yeah, home. They were home. Right. So it was simple. Uh, you know, those days... Were simple times, yes. you know. As society has evolved, so as the way we celebrate Mother's Day, very yes. different than what she used to do. Very different, you know. And today, with the rise of all that social media and all those unknown Mother's Day, we're gonna see like crazy flowers posted all over the well, place. People weekend. would make stuff up that they've done the shooting of the video days before. Oh yeah, and it was put it on Mother's year. Day, pretending that this all happened on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. So Mother's Day has transformed yes. into something grand. Yes. You know, yes. we're talking about fancy stuff. Yes. The brunches, the dinners, the spa treatments, the extravagant sales, which cause you to buy extravagant <laughs> gifts. It, it, you know, the whole nine yard. Mother's Day is like a big holiday, but not in the sense that some of us are thinking. It's more like... It's a good opportunity for some companies to make money. Yes. And, and some people to show that. off stuff. And I know how you feel about that too. Of showing off? I no, only the, show no, off no, when no, you're talking about the companies. The I only show off money. when it comes to dancing. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it, it's it really changed the way we celebrate Mother's Day. Yeah, it really does. It really does. And I know how you feel about when it comes to the commercialized right how you feel about the commercial holidays TV, being holidays commercialized, yeah. being commercialized you know mother's day being commercialized where all you see on tv well we don't watch tv here we only watch netflix on the weekend and me binge watching um my wife and kids for the last few weeks <laughs> i just can't help it but um but yeah and i think it's something it's a shift because back then they weren't doing all that I think back then in the 1900s, there, of course, there was no social media and none of these um, extra stuff. It's quite the shift. Um, but I think, you know, in the midst of all the glitz and glamour, like, you know, like you mentioned earlier, the spa, the treatment, all great stuff. There's always one that question that we got to think about. Are we really like losing touch with the essence of Mother's Day, with the focus of you know, the focus shifting towards, you mentioned it earlier. Material stuff. Yes. Are we forgetting the genuine gratitude with love for the incredible mothers and people in our lives, like especially the women's in our lives, right? Are we losing that bad? What do you think? <sighs> you know, this modern day, the way we do things is, yeah. is, is, is unusual. You know, you find there are people that, the whole year never spoke with the mom that's right mother's day come oh yeah i'm gonna go buy mom the most expensive thing and think that car that makes up for the lack of attention that they may have given to that mom mm -hmm. so and, and this is what i think it's losing it we, we we think material stuff that's all it's about but i think it's it's it should be beyond that right show the person you care Yes. Not just I'm handing you this, but be there for them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's not on the deal. So the way we celebrate many holidays, not just Mother's Day, <laughs> it seems like it's it's all about let me do let me just give you this and say happy Mother's Day or happy mm -hmm. whatever the, the 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 holiday is, and then I'll see you next year when, when it comes. Yeah. So we losing the the profound love the that comes with these types of um of holidays and relationship mm -hmm. or the reason for celebrating yes you know 
and, and I think this is where we may be lacking on this in the society. We need to really take a step back and really celebrate the people for who they are, not mm-hmm. just by handing them stuff, yeah. thinking that giving mom a very expensive bracelet, that's what it's going to take for me to show mom that I really love her. Right. Right. No. Maybe call your mom once a week and see how they do it. Mm-hmm. Maybe stop by and visit them more often. Yeah. Don't wait until Mother's Day to actually show that, but do it at a time outside of this holiday. Because right. this holiday should just be a special moment, but a lot of these little gestures should be happening yeah. Throughout the on year. an ongoing basis. Right. I agree with you. I agree, with, especially with the calls, you know. Um, and I don't think it's when you you know, when you live with your parents, you see them all the time. You see your mom, you do things for your mom. But at the same time, I think it's very, it's very, it's it's something that you should continue doing by whether if you still live with them or yeah. you don't. Because my husband, of course he does. But when he doesn't, I make sure that I remind him, hey, babe, did you talk to your mom today? And he makes sure that he talks to his mom at least. Uh, twice a week. Yeah. Sometimes more. Sometimes more. And I'll some, stop by on, yeah. on, on Unannounced, just <laughs> swing by. Yeah, just to see how she's doing because yeah. that shows a lot. We still care, right? Yeah, you know whether it's a it's 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 a letter. Now I don't write letter, but some simple gestures that shows that you appreciate yeah. the person. Yeah, you know it, it 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 really make a big difference. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes stopping by and just hang out for a little bit, you know, and sometimes out of the blue just. Let them know how much you love them, how yeah. much you appreciate. Yeah. Or if you're sitting by and you may be having a conversation, let them remember those days. Mm-hmm. Remember when you were doing this. This is how it made me feel. Listen, our parents nowadays, they're in their big ages and they love talking. And they'll tell you this and your mom does that. They'll tell you the same thing over and over again. And it's okay because at some point in our life, we're going to be in their yes. big age, you know, so therefore, we have to dedicate the time for them to retell us the stories because it's important to them. Mm-hmm. And I always say this: my dad, he's so good at this this whole retelling the story. And you know, even though <laughs> my brother and I, we know we've heard the story before, we'll laugh again. You know, and the kids now they know their they know their grandpa like how the, my dad tells jokes. So yeah. they'll just you know get along with it. And I think it's so interesting how. As they get older, it's okay for you to just like, you know what? Let me put my phone down. Let me just give my mom attention. Let me just give her my full attention while we yeah. chatting. And you know, there's one thing as, as I mean, we were fortunate enough to, to still to have our parents, obviously they're getting older, but I think being able to tolerate our parents and understand that they're changing is yes. very, very important. Cause I know there are people that avoid their parents because they feel like their parents are, are doing things that either against what they believe in. Our parents are at, a, at an age where it's okay for them to be how they are. Right. They've been that way and it's okay. Obviously, none of what they do is ever to hurt us. Right. Sometimes they may say things that may not be politically correct. So what? Right? We say these things in our homes. If we can correct them, that's fine. If we corrected them today and they do the same thing tomorrow, it's okay. <laughs> They're not hurting anyone. They're not hurting anyone. And and we we had to we have to learn to forgive. We have to learn to tolerate. But you know, those only come if you love. Yes. Because if you can't love this person, there's no way you'll ever be able to tolerate them. I agree. If you can't love this person, there's no way you'll ever be able to forgive them. Yes. And tolerating means that we can have that conversation 20 times and it's fine. Right. We're going right. to have it. Right. Because sometimes it's better to hear from our parents and have a conversation than not, not hear from them at all. Right. And, you know, there's men, there's a lot of us sometimes who don't really take the time to really, really, really be there for our parents. Mm-hmm. And it's when it's too late. You know, right. maybe they're gone. Yeah. That's when you realize that, man, I wish I did all this. Right. Now you realize that how much you miss this person. So yeah. while our moms are alive and not just our moms, our fathers are. No, it's about moms our, now. Everyone else is in. The well, yeah, mom, the it's grandmothers, about the, the aunts. The, but it, yes. Yeah, it's about the mothers. But but I think we have to we have to, to, to exercise the same behavior towards family members we have mm-hmm. in our lives. But yes, I know it's about the moms. And, and yes, learn to appreciate and love our moms. Don't wait until it's too late for us to really show them how much we care. I Not agree. by handing him things and then run 
away from them. They don't see us for another yeah. year. No, yes. I'm talking about really spending time with them. Yeah, not forcing things. Because one thing I don't like, and I've seen them all the time, whether if it's with my two eyes or on social media or on TikTok, um, is that kids, people tend to force things on their parents or their mother on Mother's Day just to just so to like shut you off, right? Or to show to the world that yeah this is what i did yes that too <laughs> and they're like well if i don't get her something i know i'm gonna be hearing about it now if you're gonna go about if i don't get her something whether it be the husband or the or the children okay if it's all about if the sentence starts if i don't get her something i'm gonna hear about it then you don't even need to get her nothing primly period if the first thought that comes to your head is that I got to get her something, otherwise I'm going to hear about it, then you don't even want to give her anything. Not even a card, not even like uh, a card as simple as I love you. Thank you, mom, for everything. Like if you don't sincerely come up with something deep down inside of you, it means nothing. And I've seen a lot of these kids on TikTok where they downgrade like they talk so bad about their parents especially um our caribbean parents how their mother's this their mother's that or you know or our our haitian parents there's certain way do certain things they do it for a reason so right from a place of love they do it for a reason i don't think they're doing it because they 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 want to hurt you yeah our love may be different the way i love you and I mean, the way your mother loves you, but you have to understand, like, there's tough love in the world because they want to make sure that you come out right. <laughs> but I truly think, you know, when it comes to Mother's Day, it's all about the, not just our moms, right? Yeah. Our grandmothers. Fortunately, mine is in heaven. Both of mine are in heaven. Our aunts, you know, um, people that we appreciate in our lives are. Uh, family, sister-in-law, this is something that, you know, the, these type of people, they play a significant role in our life, right? Yes. And, and you know, being a mother involves a lot of sacrifices. A lot. And I think, you know, taking a moment to acknowledge that it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Yes. So, you know, being able to recognize that being a mother can be difficult. Uh, it could be restless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes the work doesn't stop. It starts yes. from the beginning of the day and it doesn't stop until the end of the day. Mm. And sometimes it's days after days after days. So it's important to be able to take a moment to acknowledge that. Yes. And, and another important aspect of Mother's Day is reflecting on, obviously I mentioned the challenges, mm -hmm. you know, because across the world, mothers sometimes are in a position to not be equal. They treat it differently around the world. Right. Um, I know we live in a very progressive society where women's rights is acknowledged, but there are places around the world that mothers are looking at as second-class citizens, so they have to face major challenges. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, I think Mother's Day is a day to really take a moment, not only to appreciate those who's in our lives, but bring more light around the importance of celebrating the people to give birth to the future generations, yes, yes. you know, and, and find better support systems and opportunities for mothers, not just here where we are, but across the world. Yeah. Cause regardless of their background or circumstances, mm -hmm. I think every mother's deserve a place in this world to be able to flourish and, and raise their offsprings to become who knows what. Yeah. And I truly feel like mothers shouldn't be struggling with life because we give birth to we because i'm a mother of two girls and i truly feel like the effort like if we think of of our of the mothers back home mm -hmm. these people work hard oh, these yes. mothers will do any type of jobs to take care of their children oh yes and now you'll see that they don't have an education but they make sure their sons and daughters or doctors or lawyers. And I truly feel like, I know my mom and I were talking about this few, um, a few weeks ago. I truly feel like this type, these type of moms, I don't think they're much around anymore where 
uh, mothers are pushing their children to become better than them. Mothers are pushing their children to become doctors, lawyers, or engineer, whatever um, vision that they have. I think it's like, you do you. Whatever you want to do, you go get it yourself. This is a free world, a free country. And I think back home, I mean, I've seen my mom, you know, where she had her own business and she struggles pretty hard to make sure that, you know, me and my brother and my cousin, we, we, our life was not as bad as others. Yeah, and you listen, um, you know, looking back at those times, obviously they were, they were different. Yeah, so was different too, right? Uh, my mom, I mean, the challenges mm-hmm. were different, but that doesn't mean they didn't exist. Right. But I think in our society, we're seeing a lot of, the challenges are like three or four times as they were. Right. Because many households only have a mom. Mm-hmm. Only right. have a mom. And I'll tell you where we are right now. If you're a single parent, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult sometimes well, beyond uh, yep. imagination. Our mothers will come and like single parents back home. Yes. Not quite. There was a difference. Mm-hmm. Our fathers were not present. Right. Physically present, but they were there. Yeah. Meaning that the support system was there. Right. We running into cases sometimes. now. The support system was there. Mm-hmm. I know my dad was away for a while, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. he was there. Yeah. Meaning that... He provided what needed to be provided. I and mean, I've been here in person, mm-hmm. but he was there. Yeah. That doesn't mean our, our mothers didn't face challenges. They did. And they had a good support system. I know in our household, we had aunties, we had aunts on both sides that mm-hmm. were there to keep my brother and I straight. Yeah. See, we <laughs> right? didn't have that. <laughs> and, and, and we had neighbors that looked out on us. Yeah. We didn't in this have society that. we're living right now, it's, it's four or five times more difficult than for mothers. It is. We live in a society... You do you. I don't care what you do. Right. Moms are facing financial troubles. Uh, they're facing psych- psychological issues. Yeah. Kids, and believe me, In a one-parent household is difficult. So mm-hmm. more than ever for those mothers who are facing these major challenges yeah. these days, yeah. I feel for you. But here's my challenges to the fathers. Take your responsibilities at heart. Mm-hmm. If you father a child... You have a responsibility to be there for that child. I right. don't care if you don't like that mother. If you're not, I don't care if you hate your baby mama. Mm. You have a responsibility to be there for your child. Because let a mom raise a child by themselves, yeah. it's no joke. It yeah, is no joke. So, you know, on a, on, a, on a day like this, I know we're celebrating all moms at time, but it's important to recognize the mm. struggles yes. that mom faces. Yes. I know we um, we had a chance to go show a house and there was this young boy there by himself with a grandparent and mm-hmm. I could tell if there was a if there was a father or mom there for him how it wouldn't have been right I mean a child opening doors for strangers to come and to see a home that shouldn't happen in my household mm-hmm. that shouldn't happen in any household right who right. knows if I'm not some kind of child predator yeah yeah right yeah so it's important to acknowledge is the the difficulties that moms are facing at the, yeah. the struggle because it's real. And I know some, a lot of us have never been, been exposed to this. So when we hear mm-hmm. it, we think, yeah, you know what? Maybe some, some, maybe some people are going to, but there's a lot of people going through that. So as we celebrate, let's acknowledge that there's a lot of people that need help out. Yes. There. Yes. You know, as we yes. go and buy expensive gifts and things that, you know, Hey, listen, that's what I can do to show my love. I understand that. But if there's something you can do, mm-hmm. maybe if you're in a position of power where you can advocate for something to help people, maybe hold those fathers accountable more. <laughs> yeah, well, yes. <laughs> do that. Yes. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I'm going out on a tangent, but I think that's important. It is important. That's important. It is important. Raising children is not easy. Yes. Yes. And there's a lot of chores that moms do. There's a lot of. Uh, you know, especially if you if you like a single mom, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot. <laughs> you get to you be the literally mom and the get dad. to be, right. I was just about to say that because you don't get the support. Now you the mom making sure the kids eat, they have um a home and they go to school, they have books and all that stuff that you literally doing like three three people's job. So yes, on that Mother's Day, it is a day to be recognized where mom, I love you. It's not a day where if I don't get her something, I want to hear about it. If you're a teenager, you should know better because you know how much you put your mother through. <laughs> you should know better. Yes. So let's celebrate in a way that 
that that shows authenticity and shows that we deeply thinking of how do we best mm-hmm. show our mothers that they value yes and and take a moment to really show them how much we appreciate what they do cuz they've done extraordinary work yes and i know they'll continue to do so cuz mothers don't give up they don't. despite challenges despite they heartaches don't. they don't we 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 were born for this <laughs> <laughs> and you know there are many thoughtful ways to celebrate mother's days that that goes beyond material gifts yes you know yes. um spending quality time together with your mom that's important cooking your mother's favorite meal or your wife's favorite meal yeah it's important creating memories creating you know memories if you the type who takes pictures like we are you probably have tons of pictures going back years yes um maybe put up a scrapbook or some kind of presentation and our kids are good at at snapping pictures from our podcast you know I don't know what they're doing this year but they're good on going online and snapping pictures from our podcast and put it on a slideshow and here's the thing <laughs> it's these little things that yeah. matters to me I know and I think I mentioned these to you and the girls yes I'm not all about the gifts you know I get the gift great I'm thankful I'm grateful however mm-hmm. To me it's the thoughts that counts. It's the fact that you went, you know, you went like far beyond. You put the thoughts together like when the, when my girls do the presentation, it makes me feel like wow, the kids put a lot of thought into this. Mm-hmm. You know? And the same thing goes for you. Although I asked you to write me a poem, you're like, I don't know how to write one. I'm like, you better not go use ChatGPT because I can <laughs> tell that you did not put this poem together. So, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Cause I would like for him to express his love for me in a you know in, in a nice letter, like put this nice. Don't go buy me a Hallmark card. I don't want that. I know that's not your thoughts. <laughs> if she wants a letter, she'll get one from me. But you know what? You continue focusing on the small things because they make a difference. And you said you it's know. not you, and I was like, that's the whole thing because it's not you. You go ahead and do it for me. That just makes the whole. Yeah, but if you ask for it and that's what you even want, if I, I can, I and can I make it happen. And I would not even mind if that's the only thing I get from you. Then I'll make it happen. And of course, my omelet. That's about it. I told it. you I'll make it happen. You know, listen. But you better not use ChatGPT to write it down, to write it for you, though. I promised her if that's what she wants, i make it happen. Uh, yeah. It'll be handwritten. <laughs> let, 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 let's, it'll be handwritten. But you know what? Do the small things. L- listen, help out with the chores in the house. On that yeah. day, maybe allow your mother or your wife to just relax for a little bit. Get dinner together and let 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 her just be her and say, you know what? I got I got you today. Yeah. You know, because when you look at it, the possibility of the different things that you could do are endless. You just have to put your creative cap on mm-hmm. um, and, and, and think of what can I do? To make this a special day. And sometimes, y'all, listen, this goes for all the men out there. Sometimes we just need a day of rest. We don't need all this craziness that you guys think we need. It could be y'all just thinking like I know last crazy. year we drove we drove like a long distance sure to some did. seafood place. Now we, we enjoyed it. We did. But it was tiring driving on my It part. was. Sometimes we just need a day from mommy, mommy, mommy. A day from babe, babe, where the keys, babe, where's this? What's that? We just need a day from like, from like, we just need to like be in the room and lock y'all out and just stay in there and watch some good show or just relax. Maybe what I'll do, I'll take the kids and leave the no, house and let I'm you relax. I'm not saying that. <laughs> what I'm saying <laughs> is, <laughs> it's just sometimes, sometimes yeah. we mothers just need a day of relaxation where we just don't do nothing. Yes, yeah, some y'all want to do the whole, you know, go get a massage and get mm-hmm. in the car, drive to this place and drive to that place. And sometimes it's just a day that we just need to to just like, or the weekend, you just need to take a weekend off, get some good food in our body, you know, mm-hmm. and enjoy our time. That's it. Now, I know what I'm going to do this weekend. So I'm hoping that you know what you're going to do this weekend. And if you are... Uh, if you're a lady, if you're a mom listening to this, 
Maybe set your expectations. And it's okay to tell your significant other, this is what I would like. Because you don't want to be disappointed. Because that simplify things. <laughs> this way they know what you expect. You know, so what I say to all of you guys listening, you know, let's take a moment to reflect on, on the essence of Mother's Day. Mm-hmm. It's more than just a date on the calendar. It's, it's right. an opportunity to express our, our deepest gratitude for those remarkable women we have in our lives. That's right. Uh, for us men, for the, for, the, for the women who carries our babies. Yes. And nurture them. Yes. And take care of them. Yes. And homeschool them. Yes. Ooh. You know, it takes, it takes work, you know. We made it though. You know, don't just simply go through the motions of gift giving and mm. planning extravagant celebration. Instead, let's pause to consider the true meaning behind the, this, this special day. That's right, baby. Yeah, you know, let's let's find thoughtful, genuine yes. ways to, to honor honor the I'm women who plays, uh, I would say, a pivotal roles in our lives. Yes, I tell you, the women in our lives, at least the women in my lives, um, have made me who I am today. Mm-hmm. From my mom just nurturing me from a country that had issues from the get go, but mm-hmm. you know what? My dad left when I was three, and my brother was not even one. And she <laughs> raised up up until I was 16 and, and my brother was 13. Yeah. Talk about doing things. But you know yeah. what? And your mom did the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she sure did. Yeah. My wife's exactly the same age as my brother. No, I'm not. And I'm exactly the same age as her brother. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm 25. I'm younger. Yeah. But, but you know what? Take the time. Yes. To celebrate the, the mom in your life. And um and with that said, Among you know the wives, the grandmas. Yes, all the all the ladies in your life. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So with that said, I know we've shared a whole lot on how we feel about Mother's Days and how important it is to take a moment, but mm-hmm. what I'll just leave you guys with is we appreciate you taking the time to listen to the podcast and hopefully you have a plan on what you're gonna do to celebrate the woman or the mother in your life. Yes. And we thank you for sticking <laughs> to this podcast until the end. And I'm hoping what we shared have given you some ideas or at least help you really reframe how you think about Mother's Day. And I'm sure the special lady in your lives will appreciate yes. it. Yes. And one thing I say to the ladies, don't be so materialistic because it it's you're better than that. Expect your men to be thoughtful or your yes. kids or your children to be thoughtful mm. in how they celebrate you. Because sometimes it gets so, you get so, so hung up on, I got to get this, I got to get this. That sometimes we even forget to be kind when we're giving that stuff. That's right. Or are we giving it with anxiety, thinking that I'm hoping that you like it. Mm-hmm. Right? So, and listen, celebrate it the best way you can. Yes. But be open-minded and remember this is a holiday to show someone in your life how much you love them. Yes. Not a holiday to see how much you can spend on them just so you don't get <laughs> uh, disappointed. Don't so I appreciate it. you guys listening to the podcast. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe. And to all the mothers out there, we wish you a happy, happy mother's, mother's day. day. And enjoy that day. That's right. Until then, we'll see you. Bye. Peace. Bye.